friends we are going to learn about c look or circular look dish scheduling algorithm as you can see here queries are given and our range is given from 0 to 199 and head starts at 53 so this is our again question so what we what i have told in look algorithm you have to it is just similar to circular scan you have to traverse the rightmost element as you as we have done here but you don't have to reach to the extreme end similarly at 199 and similarly at 0 you don't have to reach to the extreme end you have to just re, you you just have to reach to the element uh, which is present inside our queue and that will be extreme end but you don't have to reach to the extreme end which is not present in our queue it 0 to 199 is total number of cylinders that is 200 that is the range given in a question but 0 and 199 are not present in our queue so you don't have to traverse them you have to reach to the end or you you have to you have to reach to the element which is extreme but it is it must be present inside our queue so as you can see this is this is similar to circular scan so we have to traverse we have we are going in rightward direction as you can see 53 uh, 65 minus 53 is least distance uh, so we move in this direction and process and if we have selected our journey journey as you can see this is our next element so we have selected this part so we are going only by this path and as you can see we are moving from 50 to 65 and we have selected this path and we always move rightward so we have once we have chosen this direction so we have moved from 150 sorry we have moved from 53 to 65 then 67 then 98 then 122 122 then 124 then 183 now we have traversed all the elements in our path from 53 to 183 and we have to follow the same direction now we have reached to 183 and it is the extreme end but it is not the extreme end it is extreme end but it is present inside our queue now we have to move to the other end but we don't have to reach to zero we have to reach to the element or the extreme end which is present inside our queue so we have reached to 14 and then we have to follow the same direction as we have started our journey journey so we follow the direction we reach to 37 so in this way we have completed all the elements and traverse all the elements which are present inside our queue and we don't have to repeat them so in this way we have completed our task of circular loop. I hope you like this video.